And this is how Liverpool start the game. Well, they play without a main centre forward, but it's the wide players that end up through the middle. And they also look to get their full-backs into advanced positions to deliver some great crosses. On their day, they're very difficult to negate. And here's the starting 11 for Aston Villa. Well, 4-4-2 is a good formation if it's played well. It covers most of the bases defensively. And if you can then rotate your positions when you regain possession, you can also be fluid in attack. Let's hope we see that today. Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Oh, a goal for Liverpool! The first goal of this final, and how important could that be? Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. McAllister. Ryan Grafenberg. And is it going to be Thiago? And there it is! A two-goal cushion now, and just look at these fans! The trophy coming their way, surely! Well, as you can see, he beats the defender so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Oh, terrific pass. And the alarm bells are ringing. And a goal! Not over just yet. Well, here's the replay. And just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Now, who can he play it to? Must be! And they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. Well, shortly we'll hear the final whistle, but not quite yet. Can Liverpool preserve the win? Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, they've certainly controlled the... Oh, big chance here! Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed, and their dream remains very much alive! Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Played over. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. Can he finish? And a goal this time! Applying the finishing touch, just what the doctor ordered.
Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. Now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.